Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of communication guys. Okay. Okay. So communication is nothing but so in simple words, you can say you are exchanging something, right? So I'm communicating with you. I'm sharing my knowledge, which I have, I have on this subject. So in that way, this is nothing but communication. So basically communication will be in two way, but here it is only one way I'm explaining and everyone is listening. Okay. Yes. So communication. So communication is nothing but exchanging of between information between two procedures or devices. So basically here we are con talking in terms of distributed system. So here instead of humans, we'll be replacing it with proced procedures or devices. Okay, so here we are having a four different methods guys for communication. So I'll be discussing each and every one in detail in our next lectures guys. Okay, so the first one is nothing but remote procedure call. The second type is nothing but remote method invocation. Third one is nothing but message oriented communication. Fourth one is nothing but stream oriented communication. Okay, so communication is done or passed through OSI layer. So basically before going to distributed system once, please make sure that you are clear with the OSI. Yes. So basically OSI is used like the term is used multiple times in the whole subject and there could be a chance that someone in your examination or someone in your viva might ask about OSI model also. Right? Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea about the communication. So in the next lecture we will be going in detail about remote procedure call how it works and all those things guys. Okay. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.